Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballow here with Carmel Anthony at West Point. How would you assess the action so far? Now we're nearing the end of this, a couple more days, but how would you assess your team so far? I thought, I mean, we're still in that like competitive stage. Um, you know, put a couple sets in just to see, you know, how we was going to do. I thought everybody, you know, kind of did a great job of just taking it in and kind of understanding it, you know, better, you know, this early. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed at that. Uh, still some things we have to work on, but it's, you know, that's going to that's gonna happen in training camp. But for us to be three days in, five practices in, um, you know, the way that we competed today, the way that we pushed each other, the way that we, you know, wanted to go out there and, and play today, we did that. So. Is there a fine line between being aggressive on the floor with your teammates and not hurting them in practice? <laughs> well, it's training camp. You know, it's, 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 it's hard not to be aggressive. Um, you know, you, you have some guys that's, that's fighting for a spot. You have some guys that's trying to get in rhythm. You have some guys that are trying to find their own pace. So it's going to be a lot of that in, in training camp. We expect that, though. How do you see the front court depth behind Robin? You know, you got him at the five. Seeing some of the backup centers and options you have, yeah. potentially you playing the four, maybe Chris Stapps at the five or Lou, and yeah. you have a lot of different options. How do you see it? I mean, I, I really don't know how, what's going to happen, to be honest. I mean, I, I just know Robin is there, you know, right now. Yeah. That we have, we have some, some other options, you know, that's behind him. But as far as how that's going to play out, it's, it's kind of hard to say right now. And we probably won't know until, you know, a couple games into preseason and see what happens. How do you feel? I mean, I know we talk at nauseam about the knee and how yeah, everything's yeah. going, but your game seems to pick up right where you left yeah. off. And you said that too, when you've been injured, you bounce back pretty quick. Yeah. Feeling that way now? I feel good, man. I, I, I was in my first scrimmage, real scrimmage out here today. And I felt I feel great out there today, just moving and running around and, you know, kind of doing things that I've felt limited to doing, you know, kind of a couple of months ago. And, but I feel good. We've talked about this too, and I've heard stories about where you know you, you have a way of playing at a certain percentage so that you're not pushing too far yeah. on the gas pedal and yeah. hurt yourself. Have you kind of kind of finally tuned that now that you're a veteran in the league? Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know the, my pace, um, you know. So I try to play at, at my pace. I try to push myself. I know that I know when I need to turn it up and when I need to dial it back. So at this stage in my career, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of you know mechanical for me. Just go out there and. You know, see the pace of the game, especially when you're scrimmaging, is is different because you you can control your own pace. You can move at a faster pace. You can slow it down. In drills, you got to kind of go all out, but in, in the scrimmage, you can pitch yourself. From a camaraderie standpoint and on the floor, anything surprise you from your new teammates that you've just met? No, nah, man. I mean, we we come together, you know, pretty good, man. And everybody's, you know, I said this the other day. Everybody seems to get along, and you, you look around, and it's you know, there's no down faces, no sad faces. Everybody's smiling and happy, and it's fun. You know, and I can't tell you the last time that it, it, it was fun for me and, and, and the guys on the team. Terrific stuff as always. Great to catch up with you one-on-one -on -one without all these reporters around. Absolutely. So we appreciate it, Carmel. Thank, Thank you so much. All right.